Hello everyone, within today's video we'll discuss what might cause your numeric object to display incorrect information when communicating to an external device. To begin, I have Easy Builder Pro open, and I have a project on display that doesn't seem to be reading data well for my external device. Within my simulation, you'll notice that I'm receiving an asterisk within some numeric objects, and while others appear to have the correct format, they are actually displaying incorrect data. So let's find out why our objects aren't displaying the correct data from our device. Starting from the top left, we have a numeric object displaying several asterisks. Monitoring the online values from our device, we can see that this object should display negative 500. Since this isn't the case, let's try and correct this by selecting the Format tab within our Numeric Objects Properties menu. And within our Format tab, I'll begin by checking the data format to make sure that our object can support negative values. We can see here that our data format is set to 16-bit unsigned, so let's change this to a signed format. And now we'll need to configure our limits. Checking my mock parameter guide, I can see that my limits should be configured from negative 500 to positive 500, so I'll change this here. So the issue there was that the data type and limits were incorrectly configured within the Format tab. This prevented the object from properly displaying the value received. Well, our next object is also displaying asterisks, but it's a little different. This object only shows three asterisks. And so this time, let's check the display format within our numeric object's properties. As configured, this object can display a maximum of three digits. However, the address that it's set to read is currently holding a value of 3000. So we'll need to update the character count within our display format to four. And checking my mock parameter guide, we'll find that this address should be able to display a maximum of 9999, meaning that with four characters and the correct limits, our numeric object should now accurately display data from our device. The next object is displaying a value, but it's not to scale. When this occurs, we need to again check our display format. Right now, the data received from our device is 450, but we actually need it to display 45. To fix this, we'll configure our display format so that one digit lies on the right side of the decimal. And again, checking our mock parameter guide, we'll configure our limits from negative 50 to positive 50. And then click OK and save our settings. Now, the last error is a little complex. We can see that one register appears to display the correct data, while the other displays several asterisks. At first glance, we might assume that one of our objects has the correct configuration, and the other object must be incorrect. However, if we test the second numeric object, we'll find that this is not the case. To better understand what the issue is, we'll need to reference a tool called the Address Grid. To access the Address Grid, I'll select the View tab, and then enable our address grid. I'll then select the address tab on the bottom left. It may be on the bottom right depending on your configuration. And we'll see a grid with several green boxes at the top. And I'll select my Modbus device. Since I only have one station number defined, I'll select the address type drop-down list and select my 4x registers. And we'll see that we now have five blocks within our green grid. Each block represents a different Modbus or external device register that has been accessed by the HMI. We know that the registers we're trying to access are 4x4 and 4x5. 
We'll select both blocks within our address grid and then take a look at the objects tied to each register within the dialog box below. Selecting 4x4, we can see that we have one numeric object on window 10. And if we double click this object, we can open both its settings menu and the window in which the object is placed. Now we'll select the 4x5 block and we'll find that this address appears to have two objects assigned to this register. And one of these objects is the same numeric object shown within our 4x4 block. When this occurs, we can tell that these objects are overlapping, meaning that our numeric object addressed to 4x4 has a 32-bit data format which will consume two of our 16-bit address blocks within our address grid. To correct this, we will need to remap either our 4x4 or 4x5 object to a different register to prevent overlapping. To recap, today we learned that asterisks within a numeric object can often be attributed to either data format, display format, and in some situations, when data from one address overlaps data in the next consecutive address. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our YouTube channel and select the Playlist tab. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.